today's video is going to be my current favorites. I do these videos every three months. I set it up that way because I don't have favorites every month. I don't bring in new makeup to talk about every month. So I just like to spread out my favorites videos so I can have a lot of information to talk about. Thing that I like with spreading out my favorites videos is that I usually have unfavorites as well. So I'm gonna stop babbling because I kind of have a lot to talk about. So if you wanna see my favorites and unfavorite makeup products, then please just keep watching. That was a weird head thing going on. We're gonna start with the way that I put on my makeup. This is usually how I do my favorites videos. I like that, it works for me. If you guys like it too, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, let me know down below. I don't have any eyeshadow primer to talk about. But I do have some eyeshadow to talk about. I have two palettes that I want to talk about with you today. So let's get into it. We're going to start with this one. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture World Traveler Palette. And I have deemed this my products I regret, regret buying. And I kind of regret putting it in that video. It's kind of funny. There's a lot of regrets going on there. You would think something would cancel out there. But this is what it looked like. And I put it in that video because... It's a very uninspiring palette when you just look at it. There's a lot of colors going on and the other thing that was wrong with it that I mentioned in that video was that I felt like the pigmentation wasn't good but I didn't understand Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows before and now I do. And I love this palette so 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 much. Um, I have used every shade except for Chic and heirloom i've used all the other shades and i love all the other shades i haven't dabbled in those two that's all but i will at some point but this is great for my color me series that i'm doing on my channel i've used the yellow and i think i did a tutorial not in my color me series but i get ready with me using intense glaze this is a beautiful color it's like a copper, but like it has some rose tones in it. It is gorgeous. That's one of my favorite shades, and the look I created with it is so beautiful. So I just really like playing with this, and I really am happy that I put it in my monthly makeup basket because I was able to change my mind on this palette, which is great. That monthly makeup basket has come in handy so much. So next palette I want to talk about is the Tartlet and Bloom palette. This is the second palette by Tarte in this form and I like this one so much. I don't gravitate towards all matte palettes which is what the first one was. Something about that just turns me off and I can't create looks with it because I like all my shimmer eyeshadow on my lid and things like that. So you get a like champagne color, you get a copper color, and you get a taupe shimmer color. Those are all the shimmers and then you got some mattes here. Now, what I like about it too is that you can kind of create one look with this row, one look with that row, and, and so on. You can use these for your eyeliners if you feel the need to do that. really like this for every day if you're um, a substitute or you have a day job or an office job. This is great for every day. You will love it and you will not be sorry. Moving on to eyeliner. I have an eyeliner here to show you. This is the Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner. This is by no means a new eyeliner on the market, but I love it because it is a felt tip, but almost also a brush tip because it just brushes on so easily. It's great. Like if you're working with glitter eyeshadow, it's really great. It glides right on. You can create a thin line or a thick line and it's completely black and you can do it in one swipe and it's super easy to to hold and it's just like like I said one swipe and you're done that's what I love about it so this is definitely a favorite I've been using it pretty much anytime I wear a liquid black liner I've been reaching for this one because I love it so much okay so next eyes are done for the most part we're gonna move on to eyebrows and I do have an unfavorite for eyebrows this is the ColourPop brow pencil and I really wanted to love this but I just I just don't this first of all I have a gripe with this I have many gripes with this product but one of them in particular is that do not twist it up all the way because you will not be able to retract it back down like what was ColourPop thinking with that I just don't understand why they would do that 
If you have one of these pencils, let me know. Maybe I can't figure it out, but why would they do that to a brow pencil? They break, you gotta retract it up. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. But what I really don't like about it is I think the color, also the formula is pretty waxy. So it's kind of hard to get your, your brow frame without it looking cakey and it doesn't look like natural brow hairs and it's not easy to control and I just really don't like this. However, one of them that I really do like is the ColourPop brow color, like the pot, the pomade form, whatever. Um, you can see I've used this a crap ton. I'm using it today. It just looks completely natural on my eyebrows and that's what I love. It's so easy to control. Around the frame of your brow, it does not look cakey, which I cannot stand. It's just so user-friendly, and I love that about it, and the color is spot on. Way to go, ColourPop, on these. And the other thing that's really great is that you can hear the click. Well, when you, when you open it, you can... Do you guys hear that? That is a lifesaver to me because I actually know that it's closed and it will not dry out because one of the things ColourPop is famous for is that you want to tightly close the jars or else they'll dry out really fast. So I really love this brow product. Uh, we're done with eyes, now moving on to the face. Okay, while we're on the subject of unfavorites, this guy. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer Dry Skin. It has glycerin in it. My biggest gripe with this is that it dries me out so much. And for it to say a dry skin primer, uh, I think it's a pretty safe expectation that it will somehow moisturize your face, right? That would be a pretty safe assumption, expectation, whatever. If I put this all over my face, forget it, I'm done. Like I did that in the beginning of using this product and I was so dry by the first hour of having my makeup on, it was insane. And so then what I've been recently doing is just putting it right here and just spreading it out this way and that's it because it's bad. And the other thing is the scent is terrible. It's like chemical-y and sweet at the same time. I just, it makes me sick to my stomach. And I have used quite a bit. I'm probably down to about here, but I did order the Becca Backlight Primer thing because I need something that's a little bit dewier and that, that's water-based for my dry skin. And that one, I have it on today, you probably can't tell, but my face is definitely a lot glowier than it would be wearing this. So this is definitely a bust. And I can go on and on and on about this. So we're just gonna move on. This is an unfavorite. Oh my God, okay. That's how much I don't like it. I just throw it right on the floor. <laughs> so also for the face, I have the Mario Badescu skincare facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. This spray is great. I'm actually gonna spray some on my face right now because I didn't get to earlier. Oh, it smells so good. And it makes my face makeup last forever. It's really great at doing it. You wouldn't think like something so like kind of gimmicky with the rose water. I don't know, something about it is kind of tacky with the rose water, but it actually works. It's really great. You could also use it to like kind of moisturize your face before you put on your entire makeup. So I really, really like this and I've been enjoying it and you can kind of see how much I've been using. Like, and I'm not typically a spray person either. Um, these past few months I've been trying new things like the spray and the pomade. It's been good. I have the Superstay Better Skin by Maybelline. This one is really great. I love the color of this. It is a tad dark it's light medium which is weird that it would be dark but what I like using it for is the inner tear duct area right here and then also to conceal my dark under eye so circles because because this concealer is kind of dark it does cancel out that darkness under there it's by no means a brightening concealer so you would think well why would you use that under your eyes but it works it's great because I will never buy another squeezy tube concealer again I tried it with the makeup forever HD concealer I hate squeezy tube concealers it's just so much easier to use a wand and that's what one of the things that I love about this concealer next is a beauty blender here I have recently gotten into the hype of the beauty blenders. I know I'm kind of late to the game. It's been around for probably a couple years now. 
and it's been transformed and all this crazy things with the beauty blender but I got on the bandwagon finally and it is great you don't have any harsh lines first of all when you use this because you can just blend them right out and it doesn't look streaky those are the two biggest things I have with using brushes because I usually end up using something like this or I'll dab it down with my finger when, when I use a brush so I love this it's really great the only thing is it's already getting nasty and dirty and the bacteria thing kind of grosses me out but I mean I'll figure out a way and I'll let you guys know how I clean them eventually when I figure it out but the reason why I've been holding back purchasing this for so long is because it's $20 for a freaking sponge that's enough of that <laughs> okay I have two products to go so this is the Too Faced Sun Buddy Bronzer. I'm wearing it today. It makes my face super glowy, super bronzed. I just love this bronzer. I love pulling it out during the spring and summer. It's so pretty. It's so easy to blend out. I bring it down on my neck. It's a little bit on the like ready brown, ready, red, brown color, but it's not too red that I can't work with it and can't blend it out. So I really have been loving this bronzer. I've been reaching for it nearly every day. This is the last two products that I want to talk about. They are what I'm wearing on my lips. I love, let me say that again. I love these products. Okay, so this is the TARDIS Lip Crayon in Later Gram. And I lined my lips with this. And that was fine, it's just like your typical liner. This, But the two of them together is what really makes makes me go crazy. <laughs> this is the TARDIS the Lip Paint in TBT. So I did do a first impressions on my Snapchat, and so you'll want to follow me there because I do a lot of cool stuff. I wore this, I tested it out, I love the formula on this. It's super whipped and moussey like and it, it, it takes a little bit for it to set, but even when it's set, it feels good on your lips. It doesn't completely dry out my lips, which is great. There it is. This is like my ideal liquid lip stick color. I love this. This is kind of like the Maybelline Touch of Spice. I haven't done a comparison, but I feel like those two colors are similar. But the formula on this is just amazing. It lasts a long time, and it doesn't do any weird caking up situation things and it doesn't dry out my lips like I said but I really want to try and work colors like really really badly I love 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 this formula okay Whew, we did it that is the end of my current favorites if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you like some of the same products or if you like my unfavorites please tell me why you like them and how you use them so that maybe I can use them in a better way that would be awesome and thank you guys all so much for staying subscribed to me and being subscribed to me and if you're new here thank you for subscribing and i hope you guys stick around for a while and i think that's it so thank you so much for watching and for being here and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>